Let's quickly discuss about simple random sampling. Simple random sampling is the basic technique under probability sampling technique that we discussed in the previous lectures. In simple random sampling, we generally apply simple random sampling for finite populations. Generally, we go for finite populations. That means the all the individuals of the population must be able to list. We need to have a list of individuals in the population. That means generally we apply simple random sampling for small populations. If somebody says that I apply simple random sampling for 1 million population, it may be correct, but there's a high probability to end up with wrong estimation. Why is that? In a finite population, if the population is very small, we can assume that all the individuals are same. We call that the property as homogeneous population. That means all are almost same. As the total population is small, we can use simple random sampling. Simple random sampling is the most unbiased most unbiased technique, why is that each and everyone in the population has equal chance to become a member of the sample. As you that there are 100 individuals in a population, everybody has equal chance of selecting. Because of that, no bias is there, we call that the most unbiased sampling technique. So, how do you perform simple random sampling? Assume that we have a finite population with homogeneous properties, all are same. So, there's no problem of selecting this individual instead of this individual. So, what we do is, assume that we have 100 individuals in the population, we have the list. Assume that our sample size is 10, we need to take only 10 individuals, we can take 10 random people for the sample. For more accurate way, we can follow lottery method. We can take 100 lotteries, put in a box and we take 10 lotteries randomly and we see the numbers and we take those 10 individuals to the sample. Nowadays, we don't have to waste time for those lottery methods. We can use computer software and we can use random number generators and we can ask the computer to generate random 10 numbers within the interval of 100. So we can take those 10 individuals to the group. Or else in old days, we had random number tables. From those tables also, we can take a simple random samples. What are the problems associated with simple random sampling? Assume that our sample is not homogeneous. We have different ethnicities. We have black individuals, blue individuals and green individuals. Assume that they have different properties. If we use simple random sampling, we might take only the black individuals or majority from green individuals. We can make, in such situations, we call that this kind of population as heterogeneous. It's diverse. It's not homogeneous. Several types of people are there. In such situation, we can't use simple random sampling because there's high probability of selecting individuals from one group. For such situation, even though Simple random sampling is the most unbiased technique. We have to sacrifice this unbiasedness up to some extent. We have to go for the next sampling technique that is stratified random sampling. In the next lecture, we will consider what is stratified random sampling.